home. And this is how we do it. Don't ever forget that as nice as your dressing room looks and might be, it's still usually a place for sweaty, naked athletes. And sometimes, sometimes the air tells that tale. But not today. Not today. What's going on, everybody? What's happening? Does anybody want to request to have a conversation with me live? Because I know you can do that now with Instagram or IG or IG, as the kids will call it next year, if all goes according to my plan. I am in Austin, Texas, at the Frank Irwin Center, um, waiting to sound check, which I guess is in the next 15 minutes or so, maybe 15, 20 minutes. But you know, I'm just feeling that Saturday vibe. Most of the week, I don't know what day it is, but my, my, my spidey senses are raging with pure Saturday. What's the topic? Sandy Metz, have you ever seen my Instagram lives? There is never a topic. You just floor it on anything that comes to mind. <laughs> and, and if you're not sure what you're saying, just keep talking. You will eventually land on some sort of point. A simple convo talking about guitars. We could do that. Although I haven't thought about guitars in a while. Like, that's what's interesting about this gig. I, like, it's so much about, like, the music that the guitar sort of disappears. It's very interesting. It's not about the tactical end of guitars anymore. Maybe in my whole career now, it's not about, like, the tactical side of guitars as much as it used to be. Go to Austin Comfort Food. Well, in this case, somebody, a friend of mine made brownies. Not those brownies, just brownies. And they were friggin' fantastic. Shout out to Sea Salt. Can we get a can we just give a group shout out to Sea Salt? It's always been there, Sea Salt, but it feels like in the last 10 years we've discovered Sea Salt and I myself couldn't be happier about it. Would I ever wear a monocle at a show? Oh, what's up, fuck Bob? Um I don't well I probably could because I scrunch my face so much when I play that it would hold. Like I'd be like and it would just hold. But if I could tape it to my forehead, then I would totally do it. Um, happy birthday, Charlie Puth. Seems kind of a senseless, useless thing because you're not Charlie Puth. But if it makes you happy that I wished your uh, idol, Charlie Puth, a happy birthday, I'm happy to do it. I'm not stingy with birthdays. Um, do I like dance hall music? I don't know that I'm particularly well versed in exactly what dance hall music is, but anytime someone asks me like, "Do you like X kind of music?" my automatic answer is like, "Yeah, there's there's got to be a good version of that." How's my fingers after last night's heater, man? They were so my uh, my calluses. It was actually really fun to rip it apart. Last night was insanely good as a show. It was. You know, we were we were like we were in Casey Jones, and I was thinking to myself, those last chords are always sort of so powerhousey, where it's just you're playing these power chords, and I was like, I'm a I'm a riff over it, I'm a blow over these changes, as they say, and it was, I started, it was the most aggressive that I've ever been on this tour when I was playing. I just stared at the crowd like I was going to murder them because I was so into it. You know the way that sometimes you say like, I love you so much, I just want to like murder you? I felt that way about the crowd last night. I just looked at them and I was like, are you? Well, it was all about like, just getting us all to that next spot. It was, it was, it was insane. It was, I was, I was lightheaded when it was over. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you about saying about seeing every show. So many people want to know, as another fellow does, if it weren't for music, what would I do for a living? I would be comedy, probably writing comedy. I don't know, though. 
Thank God I don't have to think about it. Very blessed. How many moons? I'm not counting how many moons. A hundred and something. But, dude, yesterday I had, like, a freestyle foot race with Mario. I was in New Donk City, and all of a sudden there's just, like, the letters of the name Mario are out of order. And I'm like, oh, I get a moon if I do this. Um, I, I stole a remote control car from somebody. No, I became the person... I threw my hat at the person, became the person, and rode, a, uh, steered a remote control car and got a moon. It was amazing. Amazing. The ambient noise in the background is um, the drum sound check, like the drums in space sound check. Which watch is on the wrist today? Um, today is not the day to show luxury goods. You know what I'm saying? Ain't the day. Um, my lives are just awesome. Oh, oh, like Instagram lives. I thought you meant like I have more than one life, which I don't. I should plug my phone in. Did I watch Stranger Things? Not yet. Not yet. I will. I will consume it, but not yet. What's on this week of John Stars? Hey, what's up, Jeremy? Um, how many unpublished songs have I written? Ballpark? Several. New Miguel record? I'll always listen to a New Miguel record. I will check it out. I know there's that one pineapple song. I dig it. Get existential on us. Well, don't... Don't, uh... Not to take all the authenticity out of it get existential that sounds like a bad photo shoot like now john get existential show me existential do i like star wars love star wars it's hard to get star wars out of a person like me when you're raised on star wars it, it ain't coming out feeling lonely no i feel good i feel like i feel good I feel connected to the universe today. It's good. Hey, there's your existentialism. I told you I'd get it to you. I have to plug my phone in. I like sushi. Austin. Powers. Someone just said come to Austin in December. I'm in Austin now. Uh, PRS Strat Info next year. For sure. Holiday plans. Shows with Chappelle in Los Angeles. I'm doing... Some concerts with Dave Chappelle. See you later, Nate. Oh, is that how soon Star Wars... See, Star Wars to me just always seems like uh, it's coming out, but not yet. But always. Like, it's always not yet out. But I guess at some point, it has to come out. Hey, you want to see something that I shouldn't enjoy as much as I do, yet I do? Look at this light-up cable. It's called It's Lit. Go for it, right? And when I plug it in... Hold on. No, it did not work. Oh, look at this. You didn't know you wanted it until you saw it, and then you realized you needed it. It's called It's Lit. Um, it just broke, but you don't, have to know. you don't have to know about that. Whenever someone writes RN for right now, I think they are writing registered nurse. That shows my age. Someone says, I'm learning to play one of your songs, registered nurse. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what RN is to me, and I think a lot of people... My grandmother was an RN. That's why I always see RN. Um, and also, AF is autofocus. So I am just autofocus... Registered nurse. Yeah, this is pretty. This is pretty luxurious. Also, this happened. Hey, here's my um, life hack for being on the road. I travel with a portable battery everywhere I go. Then I don't have to play Power Outlet Safari in every hotel room I go into because whoever designed hotel rooms is a sadistic fuck. Who? puts power outlets behind headboards that are drilled into the wall. We don't mess with that anymore. We just have two of these and we and we leapfrog them and we're good to go. No more power outlet safari. 
You think something like Olivia is hard to play? Um, it's sort of a blues song, and it's like they're just the chords, and then you add a sus to it, pretty much. Is it a sus? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, you add a sus. Sus. When people say sus like suspicious, I always hear sus like suspended in a chord. There's so many things that I hear differently. Who's my favorite jazz artist? Bill Evans. Leapfrog. Give me a good question. Leapfrog means you get two of something, and when this one's out, the other one's charged. You take that one, then you charge this one. Leapfrogging is also what some um, major rock and pop shows do, where they have two sets, and one sets up while the other one's playing, and then the artist goes to the next. There's like two stages. So basically, leapfrogging is like taking two. Mr. Mort, you're going to make me laugh already. Hello. I would love to collaborate with Jason Isbell, but here's the thing. When you have people that are as good as Jason Isbell, why would he need to collaborate with anybody? You don't need to. You don't, he's always going to be great. He doesn't need anyone else's help to be greater. It's impossible. So just everybody appreciate Jason Isbell. If you would like to get a picture or see a picture of the two of us together, because that would be exciting. Great. We'll make that happen as soon as possible. But why would you need me to impede on the greatness of Jason Isbell for a simple... Oh, now someone just wrote by. Those three letters just really... It <laughs> really took the friggin' wind out of me. Um, yeah, but everybody wants collaborations when everybody's great. Let them be great. Doesn't need me to mess them up. Um, what else is going on? Mario 64 or Goldeneye? I remember Goldeneye more than I remember Mario 64. But I remember Mario 64 came out in like 1997. And so did a couple records. Like I listened to Aerosmith Nine Lives. Like I remember record, like hugely influential records based on having heard them while playing video games. So I listened to Nirvana in Utero playing F Zero. This is actually a good content right now you're getting. Nirvana in Utero was like playing F Zero. And I would play Turok Dinosaur Hunter and Mario 64 and Star Fox and listen to, I guess, yeah, Star Fox was the first, that was the first version for 64. And I would listen to um, Nine Lives by Aerosmith and I would listen to Beautiful World by Big Head Todd and the Monsters. Um, thanks, thanks, Mr. Mort. I'm, do, I'm going for a completist vibe today of the Supreme Stone Island and then, and then topping it off with some Christos in the same color um, because why not? I remember Dave Matthews Band live at Luther College. It was a double CD. Um, that was like the that was it was. I remember that record coming out like ninety nine or two thousand. That was um that was awesome. Khaki hosiery, Mr. Mort. These socks are Visvim socks. We're, we're we're messing with we're rocking with Visvim socks. That's how we do it. <laughs> I've, had, I've, I've had Visvin bingos before where head to toe, like down to underwear. It's Visvin. What have I been thinking about lately? That's a great question, Mateus. I've been thinking about how, where we've come this past year and really over the last 10 years as a society and really trying to parse what has worked and what hasn't and what needs to be adjusted because I think that the intentions of this society are really, really good. And I think that sometimes the, the play out of the intentions work against the intentions. And I think we all feel that way. Like we're allies with forces and causes that we watch sort of burn out and return to status quo and that's what I've been thinking about lately is how to how to get where we're trying to get to. But I think it's a very difficult it's a very difficult the world right now is a very thin chain necklace with a lot of knots in it. And everybody wants to be the one to pull the knots out. And 
there's probably more knots because of it, but we can never forget that the intention for most people is for goodness. And that's what I think about a lot is like, how do we adjust the sights so that we hit the target better on playing out our intentions? Do you know what I'm saying? If that bored you, if that answer bored you, um, someone asked me that and I thought it was, I thought it was worth answering. Dudeism, I don't know what that means. Is that a Big Lebowski reference? Biggest change mental outlook thanks to the expansion of my musical pursuit. Oh, that's a good question. I don't really know. I'd have to think about it more, but it certainly made me really accepting of everything. That's for sure. Because in a lot of ways, music you don't like is just music you don't like yet. That's what I've learned. Music you think you don't like is just music that some future you has yet to discover. Okay, I'm about to go on stage for a uh, for soundcheck, but that was really fun. And come on, come on, last question. Let's get one, one last question. Let's get one last question. 42 just discovered the dead. Yeah, man. I mean, when I think about the fact that when I was six years old, spring of 1977 had already happened and was already on tape and was already being listened to, you know, that when I was in high school, like, you know, these the, ver the best versions of these songs we play every night had already existed, you know, and had had already changed the world. And it, it was... What's great about it is it's just waiting for you to discover it. Like, I know that at some point, and don't come down on me because I've been busy, but I, I know that at some point Pink Floyd is going to knock me on my ass. Um, and I'm excited. It's just, it just hasn't happened yet. But I'm sure that at some point I will be like, I can't believe that it took me this long to get into Pink Floyd. But we it takes us a minute. There's a lot. Every year that... Every year later that someone is born is an extra year that they have to and get to discover before them musically. Um, will I be wearing this on stage tonight? Probably not. Um, but I'll be wearing it to soundcheck, which I'm going to right now. So listen, have a great afternoon. Um, go buy yourself something nice and I'll talk to you later. Hey, Ricky. Would I wear what Nikes on stage? Oh, the ones that I put up yesterday? Totally. Totally. What's up, Ricky Van Veen? Um, oh, that's interesting. Take you with me. You know what it is? Like, I'm not 100% sure that, like, I think you'd have to tell. I think it would be fair. It would be unfair to walk to the stage and pass people and have conversations begin without them knowing that I was on Instagram Live. That would be unfair. So I can't do that. Okay, look, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't uh, looking for one last good hit. I want to go out on a high. Will I ever go to Europe? I came back from Europe. I was in Europe in May. I did not cop the acronyms today, Jake. I am... There's another thing. I'm trying to come off of the must-have, the, the, like... The, the the must have philosophy. I'm just trying to fall off of it. You know, the completest philosophy. I'm trying to trying to disconnect from the completest philosophy of fashion. However, not today. Diet starts tomorrow. Am I right? Um. Okay, you're awesome. I'm going to play my guitar, which is pretty freaking cool to do for a living.